The first 20, 25 minutes is a comedy that takes place in LA in 2016. And then the show jumps 50 years into the future and the incident we saw has become the source material for a beloved East-West musical in China. And there's a love story and the musical from a Chinese point of view celebrates how China stepped in to lead the world when America collapsed after the 2016 election. This is a play that becomes a musical and it is a musical in the future that looks back on history through a Chinese lens. That's incredible to me. It's an innovative, special idea. It's really a love letter to musical theater. It's also skewering musical theater. It's also using the form to explore this content, which feels very current and very important and very contemporary. Soft power is wild and large and deeply ambitious. You'll never lose face when your fingers are the trigger. The world is very close, so get a gun that's bigger. <laughs> As a non-Asian writer, I was like, where is my where is my place visiting this culture? And then I found it. And then I understood it. You know, I think it takes uh, sort of a big dose of humility to uh, let someone else lead in terms of this is not my story, this is completely my story, is both, but it's not coming from my culture. There's so many issues between the United States and China right now that uh, are daily informing how relevant this show is. <laughs> 10,000 trees. This is America. My mind may be free. And the story is told as to who has power at any given time? Is it hard power? Is it soft power? Is it cultural? What about appropriation? Um, who gets to tell your story? Is it the, the, the winners that write history and why? And it's turned into a fascinating, layered, deep, smart, um, I'd say incredibly ambitious show uh, with audacity. Won't give it up, won't give it up.